Welcome. I have some amazing news from Raspberry Pi. They've just announced the launch of the brand new all-in-one computer, the Raspberry Pi 500 Plus. What sets it apart from the Raspberry Pi 500, you say, which was launched not so long ago as well? Well, now this is a mechanical keyboard and this gives it a premium feel. Also, underneath the keys, you find programmable RGB LEDs. And you can have presets on these and how you work with it. You can create heat maps, rotating wheels whatsoever. Internally, there's been massive upgrades as well. Now, there is 16 gigabytes of RAM and also a pre-installed Raspberry Pi 256 gigabytes SSD. That's amazing. You know, it's quite powerful. You can use it to game, you can program. I love to program in Python, so I'll show you how to have your own custom presets for the LEDs using Python and the package that they provided for us. You'll see that. Oh, how could I forget about the unboxing therapy? That's the packaging. You get a nice package from Raspberry Pi with good labeling, Raspberry Pi 500 Plus. 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal NVMe SSD storage, something a lot of you have been asking for. Programmable keyboard with LEDs. You program it using the Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller. Something pretty good that I like to do. Now, we are going to go over that. We still get the GPIO header, USB ports, SD slot, and many other things. This is how it compares to the Raspberry Pi 400. Um, you can see that it looks more premium. Okay, let's set an effect on the keyboard and see which one we can go with. There we go. So this command basically creates this effect. Let's try another effect. This one is a typing heat map, so whenever I press keys, it shows where the key pressing is happening. Now that we have it unlocked, I'm going to show you my custom preset, what it does. So let's press this. So the key that you press is in green, the row is in blue, and the column is in red. That's the preset. Right, there are some already preloaded presets that come with it, and I'm going to show you as well. So first things first, we need to deactivate my preset. To do that, I write a script that disables my preset. It's called remove crosshair.sh. You run that, and then our keyboard will not have any effects on it. I'll clear that. Now we need to activate one of the presets that come with the Raspberry Pi 500 Plus. And one of them is this one, two, which basically is a heat map. I'm gonna run that now. When you go back to a keyboard, this is what a heat map does. The more you press it in area, the more activity there is there. I think it's pretty cool. This is my favorite. There's also another one, which is one of my favorites as well. I put it at index three, let's run it. And that's this one. It's pretty cool as well. Now, let me show you how I configured my own custom preset. Let's get back to it, shall we? So to activate it, it's a different command. We run a show script called start crosshair.sh and it activates. So let me show you how I did that. I wrote a Python script that uses the package that Raspberry Pi provided. This script really what it does, 
just tells us that whenever you press a key, that key should be highlighted in green and the column in red. That's the configuration we see right here. And the role should be in blue. And this script should run all the time when you call for it. So we need to ensure that it runs on boot. So it's not enough to just write a Python script. We have to create a service for it so that we can have system MD run it at the beginning or at the boot of the Raspberry Pi. Yes. So we're gonna open them up just to show you what they look like. Right, so this is our cross header service which calls for this Python script. It looks very simple. That's what it looks like. If you wanna know more about this, I can probably put it on GitHub and you can check it out. And we also have some show scripts that call for this service to be started. And that's what I'm going to show you now. This is our remove. Let's start with start. I'm going to show you how to start the service using systemmd. So we need to enable the service. Then we start it and then we can get the status. To stop that service, we'll remove cross on sh. That one. That's how you run it. So let me show you what it is inside. It's basically this. We are removing it without having to delete the file. And we clear the LEDs using the Python script. 